Welcome to the recently released Primal Hunt for MetaQuest and Pico. We're playing on a MetaQuest 2. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video or the game, or if you've played Primal Hunt, any tips or tricks. Let's get into it. We're going to start a new game. Welcome, value patron, and thank you for your purchase of our highest tier hunting experience. You are currently suspended in one of our biochamber catalyst tubes. Your cybersuit model is a state-of-the-art, biomechanical vessel designed to provide the most realistic and exciting hunting experience while staying safe within our containment units. Your cybersuit is syncing your sensory and neural connections with cloned organs to match your biosignature and prepare your consciousness transfer. Hunter's physical and augmented cognition pairing in progress, establishing sensory connection, syncing nervous system response, brain wave signature acquired, hunter consciousness integration, connecting, phantom bridge complete. Thank you again and enjoy your hunt. Why is it a suit if we're not in it? We're basically going to be controlling a robot. Welcome to your hunting lodge. Thank you. Here you'll come to receive your hunting permits, customize your gear, take practice in the shooting range, or simply bask in the glory of your previous hunts in your trophy room. Okay, let's get started. Move over to that console in front of you. This is your lodge console. All the information for your hunts, weapons, and the biomes is stored here. My name is Sir Philip Lambert. I'm the game warden for these biomes and your personal hunting guide. Let's get you acquainted with the Lodge console's interface. Before you start your campaign, we require all new hunters to undergo a training session in our proving ground, found in the arid portion of the campaign menu. All right, campaign menu. This is your hunting permit screen. Here you'll select from available hunts in the different biomes in the regions. Select the proving ground to start your training. Wow, it's a lot of information here. Okay. Proving grounds, basic training. Read through the hunting guidelines and review the loadout that I have laid out for you. To review your gear, click the edit loadout button on the far right. Restrictions, avoid killing any Pteranodon. Extra star, complete optional objectives. Extra star, stay under restriction limit. Okay. Uh, edit loadout. This screen is where you can review your current gear, loadout, and armor set. For future hunts, you'll be able to customize your armor and gear. But for now, your loadout is locked with the basics to prepare you for the tutorial. Once you're ready, click the Go to Hunt button on the screen to activate the teleporter behind you. So we've got kinetic arrow and grapple arrow. And then we've got a bunch of armor pieces. Oh, and our weapon at the bottom. Show weapon screen versus armor screen. Okay. Proceed to the teleporter. Okay. The teleporter is your main way in and out of the biomes. Push Activate to teleport to the Proving Grounds. Gallimimus. Adult. I don't know what that is. Welcome to the Hunter's Proving Ground. Here I will provide you with basic training that you'll need before starting your campaign. Hunter's podiums are located throughout this area with training information on everything you need for a successful hunt. To get started, move to that first podium with the floating icon over it. HUD system. Your HUD system shows needed information at a quick glance. At the very top of the HUD are your compass, health and stamina bars. On the left and right are your visual and audio meters, as well as your arrow inventory. 
arrow inventory. Where's that? Not seeing it. But we've got health, compass, stamina, offensive energy. Okay. Next. You are equipped with a state-of-the-art tech bow and an arsenal of arrows. To activate or deactivate your bow, simply push the Y button. For some target practice, click close on the screen to launch a group of target drones. Destroy all the drones and move to the next podium. Feels pretty good. We gained essence. Let's test out your Artemis shield. Hold down your gauntlet trigger to activate your shield. The shield will block most projectiles and small melee attacks. You can also swing your shield to perform a shield bash. Your shield will reduce in size as it loses health, but we'll also recharge the size. Click close to launch the attack drone. Block its lasers and destroy the drone. Woo! Launch that a bit early. Okay, on to the next one. A spider going around. He's booking ammo crates. This is an ammo resource crate. You'll find them throughout the regions to help with needed supplies to complete your hunt. To open, flip the two levers upward using your grip buttons. To collect any resources, reach out and use your grip button to distance grab the item. Good to know. Got a distance grab. Health crates. Grab the health cell. Done. Sprint and dash. Your hunter's armor is equipped with stamina driven sprint and dash systems, allowing you to move fast. So, if we uh, press in the thumbstick, it's sprint. And if we press the button, Oh, wrong button. That's odd. There we go. We've got a dash. On our stamina drains. Okay. Quite a bit. And then we get a little iris, even though I've turned off all the vignettes. Okay. Climbing. Your hunter's armor is equipped with powerful climbing magnets on each hand. To climb ladders, hold down your grip buttons and pull yourself up. Climbing does drain your stamina if you hold on too long. That's pretty smooth. Oh, that switches arrows. I guess we'll get to that. Grapple arrows. Your arrow inventory includes an infinite amount of grapple arrows that allow you to move along the challenging areas of grapple points. When at the proper distance, a targeted grapple point will highlight. To grapple, toggle to your grapple arrow with the A button and shoot the grapple point. Sweet. Ooh, what's over here? Arrows. With your grapple arrow, you can also perform a grapple hang from your grapple points. To grapple hang, hold the grapple button, firing your grapple arrow. Keep an eye on your stamina buttons. Points will drain your stamina, which may cause you to fall. Practice well, no a good. grapple hang with that distant grapple point. So I'm holding grip. All right, we can aim at another one. Sweet. A 
Where's the next exclamation mark? Well, we'll head over this way, I suppose. the regions, you'll find different intractable devices, such as that lever attached to the wall. Walk over and use the grip button to pull down the lever to open the game warden's gate and move to the next podium. Artemis system, one of the best tools a hunter can have. The Artemis will supply needed information on your hunt, help you track your quarry, as well as scanning for clues. To activate your Artemis, hold your hand to your helmet and tap the trigger. Huh. next to that podium. Cool. Dino poop? Is that what's going on? Point at clue and pull trigger. Clue source. Heard from fairies are part of the Gallimimus diet. Use your Artemis to find your next clue. Gallimimus. Oh yeah. Dino poop. Trying to pull the trigger to scan, I don't, but it's um. Let's do this then. Oh, I have to point at it with my uh, hand. Minus excrement. Traces of Hertfern berries found. Your map has been updated with a new search radius. Okay. Okay, we did that already. Hunting clues provide essential information on your quarry. The more clues you find will make tracking your quarry that much. And what's this one? Map system. Your Artemis system has updated your map with a new clue radius. Use your map and move to your next clue. The map on your gauntlet gives you your current location, clue radius, target quarries, waypoints, and other useful tracking information. You can set a waypoint by simply clicking anywhere on the map, this will also set an icon in your HUD's compass. Scan the nearby clue to keep tracking your quarry. Okay, we did that. Tagged quarry. Clue radius is the red, but I don't see the red just yet. Should we scan this again? Let's close that. And do this again and we already scanned that so it's not letting us scan it again let's check our map oh I see the radius now um, I guess there's another clue back here that we didn't scan This red star. Unless, oh, that's a waypoint. Ooh, no, it's a potential clue. Okay, so go like this. The lateral formation matches that of an adult Gallimimus. Follow the tracks towards the next podium. All right, tracking your quarry. Once you have scanned the final clue, Artemis will update your map with the estimated location of the main target listed on your permit. Your Artemis will also start to... Oh, we got him on the map, okay.
Hunter Echo. Your Hunter's Echo reveals the current alert level of the dinosaurs. White means they're nervous. Yellow is an alert state. And red rings mean they are fleeing or attacking. Okay, that's just the color of the uh, dino. Oh, I see some over there. Are they coming this way? Okay, let's just chill unless they come at me. watching you two. Your Artemis has the ability to scan and tag distant creatures in order to track them on your compass and map. Hold your hand to your helmet and tap your trigger to open your Artemis. Line up the crosshairs over the target and push the A button to place a tag. Only one tag can be placed at a time. The target will appear in your HUD compass, as well as on your map. To clear tags, simply hold down the A button. When creatures lose health, weak point icons will start to appear. Hitting weak points with an arrow will deal increased damage. This will make hunting down tougher prey a breeze. Sweet. That wasn't our main quarry, though. Whoa, heads up. Kind of looks like that one's flying upside down. Just an optical illusion, though. Traps. Is that what that is? No, that's arrows. Probably not supposed to shoot that. choose a hunting permit. You can equip different traps in lures that are found around your waist on your belt box. Let's test out your freeze trap on that group of compies. Use your grip button to grab the ice trap. To arm the trap, use your grip to turn the top knob. The trap will blink when the trap is armed. Throw your trap towards those compies. The proximity radius will emit from the trap once it's active. Kill the compies. To the Top knob turned. Are you guys gonna go in there? I have another one. Cool. Whoa. Okay. I gotta work on my throw. Over there. In the trap. Why don't you? That's right. You'll get there. Headshot. All right, up there, I suppose. Ooh, big fella. Stealth is your best friend when tracking and hunting down your quarry. With your Artemis open, stealth areas are displayed within your HUD. To go into stealth mode, Enter a stealth area and crouch. To crouch, click the right thumbstick. A stealth icon will appear if you are successfully in stealth mode. Your shield can also switch to an active camouflage. Open your shield and press the A button. Move closer to the quarry and take it down. Okay, so we want to crouch.
Okay, so we're going to want to use our shield between. Okay, so now we want to do shield. Dinosaur you bring down, you'll earn Hunter's Essence. Those orbs will be valuable when you get back to your lodge. Trophies and field dressing. Huh. After you've killed your quarry, you'll need to prepare it for field dressing and delivery back to your lodge. The organs of your quarry are of value and will be requirements for most permits. Scan the dinosaur first by holding your hand and pulling the trigger button. Once scanned, a pattern will appear on the side of your quarry. Pull your trigger to activate your gauntlet laser, and trace the pattern to expose the internal organs. Distance grab an organ to complete your hunt. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so now we have to cut that open. Gross! And then we uh, grab its heart. There we go. Kalima! Reach a teleporter to complete the hunt. Uh, teleporter. Must be one close. We've got another terminal over there. Let's have a look. Oh, that's probably a teleporter. Teleporters are located throughout the regions and are marked on your map. If your permit is complete, an active teleporter will take you back to your lodge to collect your trophies and rewards. Move to the nearby teleporter and return to your lodge. Welcome back, Hunter. Make your way to the Lodge console to turn in your Hunter's Permit. The reward screen in front of you shows the details of your hunt and the status of your permit. Click the Submit Permit button to collect your rewards and trophies. Looks like I got nothing. Congratulations on a successful oh, there we go. hunt. Your permit is accepted, and you've earned a head mount as well as unlocked a new item for your arsenal. You have cool. also unlocked a trophy room and shooting range. Located on either side of your lodge console. You have gained essence points from your hunt. Click on the skill tree to go to your hunter skill tree and spend your newly acquired points. This is your hunter skill tree. Oh lord. Throughout your hunts, you'll be collecting animal essence, which can be used to unlock skills and upgrades. When you're ready, click the back button to continue your hunter's journey. Hmm, I think stealth is probably the most useful here, but we have six points. Run, dash, climb. It's only plus two percent. Uh, leave health as it is. Plus two percent damage doesn't seem like very much. Plus 5% damage is pretty good. Uh, let's do... Let's 
three there, one there. So that's plus 2% for all arrows. Um, but let's spend... Well, that's good too. Okay. All right, um, let's check out the trophy room. Whoa. Ah, welcome to your trophy room, the Mighty Hunter's sacred sanctum. Here is where you come to mount and stage your trophies from your hunts. You can customize and proudly display your head mounts, collectible bones, claws, or even a full-scale body mount. Areas that are customizable. We'll have a trophy podium near them with available trophies to showcase. Your head mount is available from your last hunt. Make your way to the trophy podium near the front door that has the floating icon. Done. Cool. Sorry, fella. Hopefully we uh, cooked up some dino meat. Ethical dino hunting. Shooting range. Welcome to your shooting range. Here, you'll have challenges available that will help you hone your skills or simply have fun with some target practice. Move to the console to activate the challenges. How do I... Okay. had shields. How'd I do? Yeah, 92%. In progress. Okay, new record. Sweet. Shotgun, huh? Do we have a shotgun? Don't know how to use a shotgun yet. So, I don't think we have one, um, but we'll wait till we get one before doing that portion. Shotguns against dinosaurs. That'll be interesting. Well, there you go. That's the tutorial and the basic layout of Primal Hunt, currently available for MetaQuest and Pico. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game so far, or if you've played Primal Hunt, any tips or tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.